Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are talking the top 10 scariest photo bombs. <gasps> ah. Before we get into this list why don't you guys let me know if you have ever bombed a photo yourself. I'm talking face, bum, whatever, it all counts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I feel like I haven't because it's a little bit rude but I've definitely had it happen to me a few times and I've even gone through my photos after a night out and been like Damn it, you, you. If you like our videos, do make sure you leave a thumbs up and share this video with a friend. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. If you wanna check out the people that went into making this video, there are links to us in the description box. Stick around to the end, cause I'm gonna be replying to comments. Coming in at number 10, we have the toilet ghost. In Japan, there is an urban legend that there is a toilet ghost, kinda like a moaning myrtle creature, but way creepier. This one is called Kashima Reiko. She is a legless ghost with dark hair and red eyes, and legend has it that she was run over by a train and that's why she has no legs. Sure. For some reason, she haunts toilets and spooks school kids. So with that in mind, let's have a look at this picture of two school friends. I do enjoy a good bathroom selfie, it's a classic photo op and usually the lighting's great. Sidestepping their school uniforms for a sec, don't they look happy? But oh wait, what is that hiding in the background of the photo? Yep, you're right, it looks suspiciously like Kashima Reiko. Just lurking, legless. Again, I would prefer Moaning Myrtle, but this isn't Hogwarts, which is disappointing. I'm wondering how they're gonna dispense with that ghoul. Coming in at number nine, we have the Lake Lurker. Not all photo bombs are totally obvious straight away. Have a look at this group shot taken from a lake in Manchester, England in 2011. Can you see anything suspicious? To me, I'm like, hmm. It kind it all looks in order, except who, I say who, does the hand behind the puma boy belong to? It can't be his significant others, she's clasping her own hands and it isn't his either. There can't be any other culprits nearby because their hands are accounted for. It is quite a pale hand, but is it the pale hand of a ghost? It seems that on the very same day that this picture was taken, a woman's body was found in the same part of the reservoir. Coming in at number 8 we have Murphy's Hole. Was this family photobombed by the ghost of a girl who drowned 100 years ago? Possibly. This image went viral in 2015 when a family from Queensland, Australia was swimming in a body of water called Murphy's Hole in Lockyer Creek in Brisbane. The family had taken a picture as they were splashing around in a creek just enjoying a lovely day. Only someone or something seemed to join them. Kim Davison, the woman in the photo, posted the image on Toowoomba Ghost Chaser's Facebook page and claimed that there were only three children with them that day. Paranormal experts think it could be a girl who drowned in a lake in 1915. 13 year old Doreen Sullivan. Coming into number 7, we have the pub peeper. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where did you come from, mate? Because I didn't see you there. This image was taken at the Lisbon pub in Liverpool, in England. Rachel McKeon spotted a possible ghoul photobombing her picture when flicking through her images of a night out with friends. The pub is known to be haunted by two ghosts one of an unidentified female and the other of a former landlord. Sir Archibald Suldvidge, who was said to have enjoyed a drink or two, and even encountered spooky goings on in the pub himself when he was alive. Archie's ghost has been reported at the pub since 1928. It is hard to tell which of the ghosts might be in this image because I don't think we can assume a gender of a ghoul, can we? I feel like if I died, I'd love to haunt a pub though because, like, ooh, is it the alcohol or is it the spirit of me? Yes, too much absinthe. Or the spirit of Rebecca, or a bit of both. Moving on to number six. If you go down to the woods tonight, you may just get a surprise, surprise! Honestly, this is one surprise I could absolutely live without. Like, I'm gonna have to, because I feel like actually living with this surprise would give me a heart attack and then I'd be haunting the woods rather than the pub, which is the ultimate goal. Honestly, if this person wolf jumped me, I would freak out. I love camping, I love hiking, I love woodlands in general. I do not like woodland surprises. I wonder what happened a few seconds later like where's the scream picture of this person losing it? Look, I don't want to be horrifying or anything, but I feel like actually I'd be quite happy to hear these guys screams at number five. We have hunted. So, you camo dude shot a defenseless bear and posed with it. That don't impress me much. Mm, 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 
so you have a gun, but have you actually got any guts? I guess you're about to find out, to be honest. I understand that some people love hunting, and honestly, it does make me feel a little bit uncomfortable, but if you're hunting for food, I do kind of get it. But hunting for a sport and posing with the dead animals, I'm sorry, but I just don't think that we'd get on. The only way I can understand killing a bear or anything outside of the insect family is literally if you think it's about to kill you, and in which case, I do understand. Yes, I've swatted a few wasps in my time. No, I've never posed in a photo with their carcasses. Why? Because I'm not that kind of creep. Anyway, photo bombing. There it is. Someone's about to be pissed that you killed their friend, and well, you would be, wouldn't you? Interesting. Honestly, I hope no one was hurt, but I hope that this is a lesson to them. Coming in at number four, we have Marilyn Manson, or something. I get the goth vibe, I really do. When I was younger, I used to be pretty into the whole goth look. I loved it. But I have to say that this is terrifying. So far as I can tell, it isn't Halloween, so this must be how this chap chooses to express himself, which is absolutely fine. I'm for it, but I'm gonna go out there and say it, the zombie eye contacts are a bit much. If I saw someone looking at me with those eyes, I'd be anxious. But if they popped up behind me in a surprise photo bomb, I would be very, very, very scared. Also, that deadpan stare, I don't like it. This image has kind of made me want a beer though. Back to haunting the pub. Nah. I'm not even sure what this picture makes me want to do. At number three, we have Babushka. I'm gonna resist the urge to sing Kate Bush because I think I filled my singing quota for this video. So I'm not sure who is photobombing whose picture here as this lady doesn't seem to be in prominent focus. This is basically how I used to do my makeup when I was 15 and I'm trying really hard not to be judgmental, but I really need to know why she's colored her eyebrows in blue, why it's an unconventional choice. She also has a very stern face and she does not look pleased. Ah, I'm sorry babushka lady, I'm sorry. Speaking of not looking pleased, this is the kind of cold, hard, low-key threat that sends shivers up my spine. Roses are coming into number two. Roses are red, your extremely small dress is blue, come with me to prom, or I'll murder you. I'm pretty sure that that's what he wrote on the card. I'm actually sure the photographer just caught the guy at a bad time, but it does look like a bit of a dodgy moment. He looks very, very, very scary. He looks like he's a bit of a stalker type, and also somewhat like he's about to use that flower as a weapon. Maybe it isn't even a flower. Does anyone else feel like he looks like a young Harry Styles as well? Honestly, he may be photobombing, but I don't think even his scary face can steal focus from that dress. I have lingerie that's less revealing. I'm very pro self-expression, but this girl looks very young, which makes me uncomfortable. Again, I'm sure the guy in the background is just looking a bit grumpy, but it's a scary picture for many, many reasons. Finally, coming into number one, I thought I loved dogs. Then I saw this picture. We have Rover's Revenge. I was gonna hit you with a chorus of the Baja men's who let the dogs out, but I thought, do you know what, Rebecca, you don't have to do this, there are more pressing matters, and also, maybe, again, you have sung too much today. Something in the water. Honestly, in this picture, the hounds of hell are calling. This pup is not pleased about not being invited to Christmas. I love dogs, I really do, but I forget that they have fangs, because look, there they are, and he's not happy. Scarier still, it's dark outside, and the clock seems to suggest that it's 10 past 12, which is actually a scary time of night. A scary time when a loathsome tail wagger emerges looking to bite. Oh. Is the guy in the picture holding a turkey baster? Who bastes a turkey at 12.10 a.m.? What is he looking at on the floor? There is something going on in this narrative. I want to piece it together, but I don't like what I see. Well guys, that was the top 10 scary photo bombs. What did you think to this list? Which of these do you think was the scariest? Honestly, for me, the dog is pretty, pretty scary, but I do love a pub ghost. I do. Before I go, I'm going to read some comments from the top 10 scary, mysterious people in history part 3. You guys seem to love that series, and I'm so glad because I love history. Earthchild Evergreen said, I think that someone said that Elisa was playing a paranormal game that she shouldn't have, and the spirit that she disturbed was attacking her mentally. So we're talking about the girl with the lift, right? This was backed up by Artsy Kitten, who said Elisa Lamb was playing the elevator game. It said if you're not careful enough at the end, you have a high chance of never returning. P.S. I love your videos. Creep Gamer HD said, Mysterious People Part 3, me, my next door neighbor Karen. Shout out Karen, I love a mystery. Samantha Owen said, I just love her, she's an excellent host in all of the videos I've seen. Samantha, thank you. Ooh. Christopher Mills thinks that Rasputin could be the son of Baba Varga, which actually, you might be onto something. The blind mystic 
could have, but wait, actually, I think that she might be younger than him. I'm so confused. Does it matter when it comes to mysticism, though? Rasputin is long dead. I love this comment from Xenorex, who wrote, Wow, wonderful Queen Rebecca, please do part four. Someone you should include is Nicholas Flamel. The real question is, did he really die, or has he used his Philosopher's Stone to live on? Also, he may have helped Newt Scamander and done work in alchemy with his partner, Albus Dumbledore. That is the kind of comment I'm looking for, friends. This little Slytherin is very happy. Miniaturized said, The cast of most amazing top ten are mysterious. Do you know what? You're right, we are pretty mysterious. Ma uh, uh. Actually, I don't know if I'm mysterious, I'm just a bit weird. So, potato, potato. Good, great. Time for me to get out of this video. Once again, if you liked it, please do leave a big old thumbs up and share it with a friend. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Check out our most amazing Instagram, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.